Have you ever wondered about the top 10 places to visit in Eritrea? Picture a land where diverse cultures converge, where history whispers from ancient ruins, and where landscapes stretch from sun-kissed beaches to rugged mountains. This is Eritrea, a hidden gem on the Horn of Africa, brimming with untold stories and undiscovered wonders. This nation's unique blend of African, Arabic, and Italian influences makes it a vibrant tapestry of human experience. Prepare to embark on a captivating journey as we count down the top 10 must-visit places in Eritrea. Starting our countdown at number 10, we have the Imperial Palace in Asmara. The Imperial Palace is a grand edifice, a symbol of the city's past, steeped in rich history. This palace, once a residence for Ethiopian emperors, stands proudly in the heart of Asmara, Eritrea's vibrant capital. Constructed in the early 20th century, the palace is a magnificent example of Italian modernist architecture, boasting a unique blend of tradition and innovation. The palace's grandeur extends beyond its walls. It's nestled in a city that's a melting pot of cultures and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Asmara, with its wide boulevards and Italian-style coffee houses, is a city that exudes a charming old-world aura. Its streets are a testament to the country's colonial past, with buildings that echo the architectural styles of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The Imperial Palace, a testament to Eritrea's rich history, truly deserves a spot on your travel itinerary. Moving on to number 9, we dive into the coastal city of Masawa. This charming port city is brimming with tales of the past. Here, the remnants of Ottoman and Italian influences mingle in a unique architectural cocktail that is both fascinating and beautiful. Stroll through Masawa's old town and you'll find yourself surrounded by captivating structures, each one telling its own story. The old town is a maze of narrow alleyways, courtyards, and traditional houses, all encrusted in a rich patina of history. Then there's the port, the heartbeat of the city, where you can watch as vessels of all sizes come and go, each one adding a new chapter to Masawa's ongoing narrative. This port is more than just a place for ships, it's an integral part of the city's identity and culture. Masawa, a city where history meets the sea, is definitely a sight to behold. At number 8, we have the enchanting Dalak Archipelago. A cluster of over a hundred islands in the Red Sea, the Dalak Archipelago is an underexplored gem teeming with marine life. The warm turquoise waters are home to a colorful array of corals, fish, and other fascinating sea creatures, making it a haven for divers and snorkelers. The islands are not just about the beauty beneath the waves, they hold a rich history, tracing back to the early centuries as a significant trading hub. Stories of the past resonate in the ruins of ancient buildings, whispering tales of merchants, sailors, and explorers who once graced these islands. For those with a thirst for adventure, the opportunity to explore the underwater world and the historical sites is unparalleled. Imagine diving into the clear waters, swimming alongside vibrant marine life, and later, strolling through the remnants of an ancient civilization. The Dalek Archipelago, a diver's paradise and a history lover's dream. At number 7, we journey to the ancient ruins of Kohaito. Once a bustling hub of the Aksumite Empire, Kohaito now stands as a silent testament to the grandeur of a bygone era. The land is peppered with archaeological wonders, each with their own tale to tell. Imagine walking amidst the ruins of stone buildings and temples, each stone whispering secrets of the ancients who once lived here. The historical significance of Kohaito is undeniable. Its strategic location and wealth of archaeological sites make it a treasure trove for historians and archaeologists alike. But the charm of Kohato extends beyond its historical allure. The landscape that surrounds the area is a spectacle in itself. Rugged mountains loom in the distance, their peaks touching the clear blue sky. The plains are a canvas of colors, where wildflowers bloom and animals roam freely. Kohaito, where time stands still and history speaks. Coming in at number 6, we have the vibrant city of Karen. This bustling urban hub is known for its lively markets, where the air is filled with the tantalizing aroma of spices and the chatter of vendors selling a myriad of goods. From fresh fruits to hand-woven textiles, the markets of Karen are a shopper's paradise. Moreover, the city's Italian colonial architecture adds a unique charm to the landscape. Walking through the streets of Karen, one can't help but feel transported back in time as they take in the well-preserved buildings, each telling a story of its own. But that's not all Karen has to offer. 
Every year, the city comes alive with its annual festival. This celebration is a burst of color, music, and tradition, showcasing the rich and vibrant culture of the people living in this part of Eritrea. Karen, a city that pulses with life and culture. Halfway through our list at number five is the secluded monastery of Deborah Bizen. Nestled atop the majestic Nephesite Mountains in the northern Red Sea region of Eritrea, Deborah Bizen is not just a monastery, but a testament to time and faith. This revered place, founded in the 14th century, is a beacon of the Eritrean Orthodox Tewahedo Church. Its location, 2,500 meters above sea level, offers breathtaking panoramic views that stretch as far as the eye can see. The monastery is home to an invaluable collection of ancient manuscripts and religious icons, some of which are believed to be over five centuries old. But it's not only about history and religion. The journey to Debris Bizin is a spiritual expedition in itself. The uphill trek, while challenging, rewards the sojourner with the quiet serenity of isolation and the embrace of undisturbed nature. Debris Bizin, a spiritual haven perched high above the world. At number four, we find ourselves in the resilient city of Nakfa. This city, nestled in the northern part of Eritrea, played a pivotal role in the country's fight for independence. Its people, structures, and very spirit were put to the test, but Nakfa stood firm. Among the city's war-torn buildings, one can see the scars of battle, but also the strength of survival. Each crumbling facade tells a story of defiance and determination. The city, though marked by conflict, refused to be defined by it. A visit to the local museum offers a deep dive into the city's past. Here you can trace the journey of Nakfa, from a city under siege to a symbol of resistance. The museum showcases artifacts, photographs, and personal narratives that capture the essence of Nakfa's indomitable spirit. Nakfa, a city that embodies the spirit of Eritrean resilience. Nearing the top of our list at number three is the archaeological site of Matera. This site is a treasure trove for history buffs and curious travelers alike. Nestled in the northern region of Eritrea, Matera offers a fascinating glimpse into the past. The ruins here stand as silent witnesses to the passage of time, each stone holding a story of its own. From the remnants of ancient buildings to the weathered yet enduring rock art, Matera is a testament to the resilience of human civilization. The rock art in particular is an intriguing aspect of Matera. These age-old etchings provide a tangible connection to the people who once called this place home. They offer a unique look into their way of life, their beliefs, and their creativity. The historical significance of Matera cannot be overstated. It's not just a collection of ruins, but a living museum, a window into Eritrea's distant past. Matera, a testament to time, a testament to life, and an absolute must-visit for anyone venturing into Eritrea. At number two, we have the breathtaking Semianawi Bari. This region, nestled in the heart of Eritrea, is a haven for those who appreciate the raw beauty of nature. It's a symphony of diverse wildlife where the chirping of birds becomes the soundtrack of your adventure. Majestic elephants, agile gazelles, and the stunning African wild dog are just a few of the inhabitants that call this place home. The landscapes themselves are just as diverse and unique. From the verdant greenery of the highlands to the rugged beauty of the lowlands, there's a panorama that will captivate every nature lover. And let's not forget the opportunities for hiking. There are trails that meander through the wilderness, offering a chance to immerse yourself in the serene environment. For the bird watchers among you, Semianawi Bahari is a delight. The region is teeming with bird species, each more fascinating than the last. So grab your binoculars and prepare to be amazed. Semianawi Bahari, where nature's beauty unfolds in every direction. And finally, at number one, we have the charming city of Asmara. Asmara is a city that truly stands out with its unique Art Deco architecture. Imagine strolling down streets lined with buildings that seem to have leapt right out of the pages of a 20th century design magazine. This is Asmara, where the past and the present harmoniously blend in a vibrant tableau. But it's not just about the architecture. Asmara is also known for its lively street life. The city pulsates with energy, with locals and visitors alike filling its cafes, markets, and squares, each adding their own unique color to the city's rich tapestry. Asmara's history is as rich and layered as its architecture. The city bears witness to a past filled with diverse influences, each leaving its indelible mark on the city's culture and identity. Asmara, a city that perfectly encapsulates the spirit and beauty of Eritrea. And there you have it, 
the top 10 places to visit in Eritrea. We've journeyed through the Imperial Palace in Asmara, explored the coastal city of Masawa, marveled at Dalak Archipelago's beauty, discovered Kohaito's ancient ruins, immersed ourselves in Karen's bustling market, sought tranquility in Debre Bizen, remembered history in Nakfa, found the past in Matera, and admired the natural beauty of Simianawi Bari. Eritrea, a country of diverse landscapes, rich history, and vibrant culture awaits you. When will you start your journey?